I'm sorry for the wait, but all goods entering the city are subject to search. This is outrageous. We're loyal citizens. How long do we have to What am I just What's going on here? Roland's well, in there, somewhere. And so is Erend, that other outlander I talked to the night before the proving. Erend said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the Vanguard. Not getting locked down, down and I counted the murder. If this all the 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 murder. Murder. Come up, Mustafa. Halt! Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Carja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy, hey, you're alive. I thought you were dead. Make way, make way. All the way to Meridian, just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So you're alive. This, uh, we should celebrate. The drink's on me. We need to talk alone, and you need to pull together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There, alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. Now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. I, uh... I lost someone, too. At the Proving. The man who raised me. His name was Rost. That's terrible. But why is it every time something terrible happens, Everyone else tells you the worst thing that ever happened to them, so that makes it easier. Yeah, why is that? Anyway, there was something you wanted to tell me? A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. Some of your braves came back. Said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Olin. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Olin. I need to know what he knows. But... He's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Olin is working with them. But, I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents, places he returns to? A house here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Come on. So many people here all talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. That girl. Is she a Nora? Apparently they're letting anyone into the city these days. Just blood for blood. Yeah. Then 
vengeance for Ursa. How long will Avad hide in his palace? Year after year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Errant, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister murdered and her death unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass. What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Okay, how are we gonna get in? Oh, that was subtle. Here we are, trying not to break anything. Yep. Other than the door. All of this for one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's court. It looks like a picture of Olin's family. This rug is frayed. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it? Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that.
I did say not to break anything, didn't I? The glyphs show places he visited. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus, it's the same? The device is the same, but... Somehow, Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances, and see through each other's focuses, too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you? Through Olin? Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait! If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Redridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Redridge Pass, you said? I'll see what I can do. smelled before. Is that some kind of spice? You there! Can you help me? You with the second sight I need your... You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the Liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. 
As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. I see someone. Able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family. Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant a, a well-molded woman such as you. <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuk camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To, just investigate, that's all. Uh, those Banuk are canny, too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> they choose to live up there in Ban Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation, it's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> the last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. Hey, you're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. Girl, I'm not made of straw. Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Hmm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. <clears throat> All right, more of an opportunist. Uh, girl, uh, Nora, girl. <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities. Risky opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right. I'm more of a gambler. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. It's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well... You can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. That must be the spire. It's huge. Find good for a fair price.
Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. See for yourself. Don't find better ways. I wish I could capture this moment. Nora. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sun Ring? Uh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander, then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices, not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. What kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim, is an Asaron who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. A shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, a call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Flint hawks perch there, drawn to the spires shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. I didn't think your priesthood would ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the red raids? Yes and the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. You're disappointed with the Sun Priests, but you still wanted to be one? I spent my whole life looking up to the temple, my brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he tried, in the end. 
He said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. And so we are left to wear their sins. For me, at least, they hang heavy. Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. He spoke out against the sacrifices. For a priest to question the Sun King's will, his punishment was worst of all. You lost someone you loved, too. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, I found his memory. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all. You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see? Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in gray, clutching the sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. I've got all the best goods here. The thief broke the lattice on the way out. And some blood. Looks like they cut themselves on drops of blood, bleeding away. That's why the damn shit. More blood. I'm still on the trail. Still more blood. The thief got cut. The trail ends here. But someone must have seen the thief. Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. No sign of the thief. Someone must have seen him go by. Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah, almost crashed into me too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way he'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop off. It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. 
Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for a shining light in the darkness, so I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it. Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. But all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay. Guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. Prices, fair prices. Fairest prices for machine parts under the Mesa. No tithes to the Sun Court. Not like those greedy snarls upside. She's not interested in taxes. I know what she's not interested in. As I was saying, no better offer for snap ball lenses. I'd give my oath on it. By the sun, don't start spitting in your palm. Huntress, I apologize on behalf of my partner. Silent partner? Silent partner? If the sun would only grant my prayers. Never mind snap more lenses, Huntress. There's no bucket for those. A long leg lens, though, you'd be well rewarded for. So which... Uh... No market for a snap maw lens is good, strong stuff. You can hammer it into anything. Where do you think we are? Some trading post with sawdust on the floor? This is Meridian. We have culture. I know culture. Just the other day I was watching the hunting trials. Oh, great sun, lend me the strength of midday. 
The sun's baked your head if you think we'll shift long leg lenses at a time like this. Uh, hello? I've told you as many times as the spire is tall, craft and artisanship is who we are. Craft doesn't win a war or keep the machines from your farms. What you need is good, old-fashioned, plain... Oh, yes. Old-fashioned, plain, hammered work. If ever something glittered, you'd throw it back. If Karja had built that elevator, they would have stopped at a good-looking shaft. All those years of delving, and you never found a sense of humor. Enough! Well? They're a blunt people, the Nora. Why do you two even work together if you can't agree on anything? <sighs> it's a symbolic gesture. No tithes to the Sun Court, like I said in the beginning, Renine. Just... just tell me which part you want. A long leg lens. A snap ma lens. Fine. I can see that you're busy. Wait, wait! You drove her off. Snap ma lens, what do you say? I drove her off. <laughs> That's rich. Listen, Huntress, long leg lens. Hunters, scroungers, bring us your metal. Scroungers? What kind of brutes are you trying to attract? Good for an old remedy. I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. You mean you steal? If you want to call it that. From hogs who've had their turn at the trough for generations. Ravon didn't seem like a hog to me. He stinks just like the rest of them. Of wealth and contentment. While people beneath him suffer. Who exactly gets the shards at Sunfall? Not the bastards in the fortress. We use the shards to make sure the poor in Shadowside get to eat. Or bandage their wounds. They only went west because they had to. Trust me, I know. My wife was chained up with a bunch of servants and herded with them. They starved to death, still bound together. I'm... I'm sorry. So am I. Where is the sword now? Safe. I haven't sold it yet. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? I was hoping you'd help us. They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner, Nassan, disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall, along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there, but be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. It's not what I imagined when I was a boy, but it's decent work keeping the city safe.